are basically dead. See that I'm drawn? The weapons are drawn. 150 people got arrested. Right behind me, I have the warriors here at Standing Rock. here when you donate to this cause wood is going to be something that will be heating every one of our gates we have two main gates here and we have 24 hours a day fires going through so wood is something that we do use what we're talking about is how we can winterize some more and we're talking about wind is a really big deal a teepee in this kind of temperature and this type of climate is uh, as almost as resistant as any kind of a house would potentially be. It's extremely strong. In North Dakota, it gets extremely cold. We're talking about minus 50 degrees uh, Celsius. Wind is gonna be just ripping through here. Um, it's gonna be ice. We're right on the water. As you can see kind of behind me, we're right next to the water source that, uh, that Dapple is looking to, to, uh, to contaminate. So people, I get it, we want to help, we want to do stuff, but if you contribute, what we can do is we can really consolidate all that money that we need and really start investing in the quality things that this camp is going to require coming into the cold seasons. Take a look behind me and take a look at stuff that unfortunately we won't be able to use. Great intentions, great caring, but it's caught in stuff that we won't be able to, to handle through the coming season. So thank you so much, look to contribute as you can. My name is Peter Eric, and I am organizing this crowdfund on behalf of the security at Ochete Tsukoen. When you go to Standing Rock, the the magic that's there is is it goes hand in hand with the nature that you're seeing that has been preserved by the communities within the area. It's our gift, it is a bouquet, an arrangement of all the prairie flowers that you'll be finding within the area of Standing Rock. When I have this arrangement in my house right now, um, it's, it really reminds me of my time and my, my commitment to the Standing Rock movement. This bouquet represents, I think, the, the teamwork and the unity that that is found at Standing Rock. Collectively, I'll be working with the community to gather these flowers. Um, we have direct action committees that will go out and will gather these flowers for you. So this is something where we're connected directly to the, the, uh, the people at the front lines.